Congress has avoided a government shutdown for now. Lawmakers spent today passing a funding plan that should keep the government running through December 20th. Tonight, 27 News Washington correspondent Raquel Martin breaks down the swift move from Congress just before the deadline. This was probably one of the least dramatic funding fights that we've seen here in Washington in recent years. The House and Senate quickly moved to pass the short term spending plan. It passed in both chambers with bipartisan support. Motion to reconsider. In an increasingly rare turn of events, Congress passed a government funding bill days before a potential shutdown. And the bill is passed. The bipartisan deal will keep government spending levels the same through December 20th. It allows Congress to continue serving the American people through the election. The only tweak, it adds an extra $231 million to help the Secret Service tackle heightened threats, most notably against Donald Trump. And it is contingent upon the Secret Service's complete cooperation with our oversight um, investigations over these assassination attempts. Americans can breathe easy that because both sides have chosen bipartisanship, Congress is getting the job done. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the House and Senate kicked things into high gear to pass the plan. What are we doing? I mean, it's, it's absurd. Not without pushback from some conservatives. We irresponsibly continue to spend money that we do not have. House Democratic Leader Hakeem Jeffries says a bipartisan vote could have happened sooner. This is not a complicated thing had Republicans ditched a doomed effort to link the plan to a controversial voter ID bill. It failed last week. Now, the short-term plan only pushes back a funding fight until after the election. At the end of the day, Democrats and Republicans will need to return to the negotiation table to avoid another potential shutdown just days before Christmas. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin, back to you.